Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing really well. So back to do a vlog for the first time in forever. And that is because it is the 1st of November when I am filming. It is the first day back at work after my holiday. And to be honest with you, I felt like I probably should try and do a vlog because I do not have much footage right now. And by much, I mean none. I have zero footage. I have not filmed anything for YouTube since about two weeks ago, which was when I did my one and only video in the villa that we were staying at. So I feel kind of bad about that. I did actually really want to film more things in the villa, but there was just no time when I was just completely on my own. And I find it kind of weird to film whilst other people are around me. But I thought I would kind of document this week, the first week back, where I'm just basically trying to get back to some sort of normality. I don't want to say like trying to get my life back on track, trying to get my my shoes together, but uh, basically that. First port of call today is it is eight o'clock. I'll be starting work in an hour and I am just kind of dreading how many emails are going to be in my inbox when I get to work. I've not had access to my work inbox for the past two and a bit weeks that I've been off, which is good because it means I can have a proper holiday without thinking about work, but also it means I've not been able to like tidy up my inbox and ooh, the last time that I did have time off work was a week where the entire company had the week off and on that week where nobody was meant to be in, nobody was meant to be sending emails, I still ended up having at least a hundred emails in my inbox by the end of the week. So two and a bit weeks where everybody else in the company is still there, still sending emails as normal and I'm not there to field my own inbox. <sighs> Hmm, I'm not looking forward to looking at that number. Other things that I need to do this week, um, I've got different show rehearsals for my show that's in December and I definitely need to be at those rehearsals. I'm gonna be doing a food shop. I am going to be making bolognese tonight, which is good, kind of batch cook something. I need to sort my room out. I need to do my post-travel COVID test. That needs to get done, but I'm probably not gonna show you the details of that because that's a bit gross. And yeah, there are just a lot of little things that I need to get done. Oh yeah, and I also need to go back to the gym because I've really not been doing my due diligence about going to the gym. Naughty me. So yay, Monday feelings. Woo! Actually one of the first jobs that I'm going to do today is just to have a sort through my two bookshelves here. My original plan for these bookshelves was that at Christmas I was going to send all of them home and I did want to do that but it has been brought to my attention by my mother that uh, there is not a lot of space in my room and uh, I probably could be using my shelf space a little bit more effectively. My parents brought me down yesterday and they are still here. I'll be meeting them before they go back home. So my task for this morning is going to be to take off at some of the books that I really don't need on the shelf. Basically anything that I'm probably not going to mention in a video in the next month or two. So yeah, I know you've not had much of an opportunity to look at these couple of bookshelves that I have, but you know, say goodbye to them. Goodbye. Well, we've had a disaster before we've even begun because I have just found out that the tripod that I took on holiday with me, which is the one that I have here in Oxford, the one that I film all my videos on, has broken. I don't even know what it's called. One of the little adjuster things has snapped off. So I now cannot extend my tripod more than this, which which gets it to about here in height, which is not quite what I like for videos. I like it to be more up here. So I'm trying not to freak out about that. Mm. Like I say, my parents are coming over, so I'm kind of hoping that my mum will know what to do because my mum knows what to do a lot of the time, but also this is not her area of expertise. So <sighs> Monday feeling, Monday feeling. Ugh. So here we go. This is the little pile of things that I am going to be passing on to my parents. Just things that I don't think I'm going to have to use in a video anytime soon. The only one that I'm kind of unsure about really is Get A Life Chloe Brown, but I have decided to pass it along to my mother because I know that she really wants to read it. To be clear, not passing it along as in I don't own it anymore, just passing it along for them to take home. Which now leaves my bookcase with a little bit more space. And I'm still here trying not to freak out about my tripod situation. <laughs> staying calm, staying calm, staying calm, staying calm. <laughs> here is what I am wearing today to stay calm and happy. Oh, there is dust on my mirror that looks like... Oh no, that is just a stain. Okay. Here is what I am wearing today to stay calm and happy. I just saw a stain on my mirror that definitely needs cleaning. This dress from Journey, which you've seen before. This is what I wore when I went to see The Mirror and the Light and I met Hilary Mantel and it's very exciting. This is what this dress will forever be associated with. I'm also wearing my little teal tights that I have from Snag Tights. These are the Blueberry Muffin Snag Tights. They're not in their permanent collection. So that's really annoying because it's my favorite color. And it's not even really showing up like how like, greeny blue teal these are on camera, but I really like them. So this is what I'm wearing. Dress for success. Dress for clearing out your inbox off the probably hundreds of emails that are in it. 
Yay! I'd like to thank my former self for putting this friendly note into my planner. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. And if you were interested, my inbox number, I think it's stopped updating now, is 340 unread messages, which is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I genuinely thought there might be more than a thousand in there, but no, good, good, good. So, <laughs> yay! I think the first job is just to go through everything and just get rid of the junk probably because there's probably going to be a lot of junk in there. Hello, another check-in. It is currently 12.25 and I've managed to get my email inbox down from 340 emails down to about 80. Which, you know, that, that, that does feel good. But also I'm like, oh. Also, we've just found out that we do in fact have two four hour meetings today and tomorrow in the afternoons, which start at one o'clock, which means I'm not gonna get any filming done during my lunch break. First day back, woohoo hoo. I will just say, I do love my job. I just don't like having a full inbox. I find that stressful. I don't like it. It makes me feel like I can't do anything, but it's fine. I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. But silver lining, I have just seen that my parents are pulling up and they brought my food shop for me. Oh, it's so nice to have good staff. <laughs> also, I'm thanking yesterday me who ordered a, basically it was like a tapas, but not tapas at this pub that I took my parents to. And basically I ordered like three plates thinking that it was meant to be like one person's main. And it turns out that that was meant to be more like two people sharing starter and was way too much for me. So, ah, I can open it. So I have lunch. Yay for me and this past decision. <laughs> got a brand new tripod woo this is slightly different from my old one and i am slightly terrified but hopefully this is okay this will do i did not realize until just now that i was still filming so <laughs> i've obviously edited it out but oh sorry i was trying to move the tripod up the stairs while still talking to you i'm here because i'm much too lazy to actually take it down again we're now coming to see if it works in my room is this the right height? This is the normal location. Is that right? I hope so, because I don't want to move it again. The insight into my filming process is that I'm lazy. I think this needs to be a little bit taller, actually. Okay. Is that right? I hope that's right. So it's my lunch break, so I think I'm gonna take the time to film my November, my non-fiction November TBR. I've got like 45 minutes until I've got to be in a meeting, so yay. I've just finished filming my non-fiction November TBR and I'm about to take the thumbnail shot, but I have so many hardback books that this pile may not look very heavy. It is tremendously heavy. Why did I say I wanted to read these books? What have I done to my son? Hello friends, I come to update you to tell you that I have colourful tights! So just before I came home, I did a sneaky little order on Snag Tights, who I've, I've already worn many pairs off during, no, I say many pairs, I've worn two pairs of Snag Tights in the course of this video. But you know, it's more than one. And up until I think it was the 31st of October, they'd been doing like a, a second chance initiative where basically they were selling pre-orders off all of their old tights that had been discontinued, like all of their limited edition tights. 
And on there, they had my favourite teal tights, which I had bought previously from them, which are the blueberry muffin ones. I think I wore them on Monday. So I had to pounce on those. Those aren't going to arrive for another 12 weeks. And I thought whilst I was there, I'd pick up a few tights that I can wear right now. And I thought I would just show you them now. So anybody else who is watching who has thighs of a certain size <laughs> will know the pain of summertime with thighs that like to rub together and cause all sorts of mischief. And so I present to you chub rub tights. <laughs> These are just little tights cut off like around mid thigh which just prevent chub rub <laughs> which is the worst thing about summer. I already have some like black cycling shorts that I wear underneath darker clothes in summer but these are like nice nude tights at least nude for my skin colour uh, that I can wear under like white light dresses and I'm a big fan but those are boring practical tights what you want to see are the fun colourful ones so the first ones that I have are these lovely purple tights ah these are in the shade Suffragette Purple. Fancy, fancy. And then the other pair of tights that I got were these lovely like turquoisey ones. They almost look teal, but they're not. They're a little bit lighter than my teal ones, a little bit more on the blue spectrum. And these are called Beach Bum. And so yeah, between these two and the navy tights that I'm wearing right now and my teal tights, I am very well catered for in colorful tights. Woo! So thank you for indulging me on my tights interlude. It's so cold and so dark. So it is Friday night, 5th of November, bonfire night, and I am not going outside, I am staying in. The first step of my very wild Friday night bonfire night has been to order character shoes because my show is in a month and I still don't own any character shoes. However, you will have seen that something that I did during my lunch time was I went on a sneaky little visit to the charity shops in town and I picked up a bunch of DVDs. 11 DVDs for two pounds. Now that is quite a bargain, I should think. Mainly because I wanted them, but also because I am working on a little project, a little YouTube project with somebody that you will know from the booktube sphere. Is that a secret or anything? We're just in the early stages of talking about it, so I'm not gonna jump the gun and say about it before we've made plans. But I've bought a bunch of DVDs and uh, yeah, if uh, things get too wild tonight, I might start on one of these. So to go through them, we have the BBC North and South. I have been looking for this for ages and I am so pleased to have found it in a charity shop. We have Elizabeth the Golden Age. I have been trying to track down the original Elizabeth, which I've not seen. I have seen this one before and I know it's on Netflix, but I saw it, it was like six for a pound, so I couldn't say no. Ever After, which is one of the best versions of Cinderella. Maybe controversially, I do think that the Brandy Whitney Houston Cinderella is a little bit better, but I do love Ever After. Miss Congeniality, which no, does not go with the theme of the rest of the DVDs but it's a classic, it's a classic. An absolute pinnacle of historical accuracy and absolutely 
fantastic, smashing Scottish accents. I am being sarcastic, yes. Braveheart. <laughs> we have Anna Karenina, Shakespeare in Love, another one that is questionable in accuracy, but it does have the dench. Cabaret. Can you believe I have not seen Cabaret? I'm a musical theatre fan and I've not seen Cabaret. Schindler's List. Much Ado About Nothing, the Kenneth Branagh version, which I have seen like clips of and obviously like I know the play, I love the play, but I've never seen the full film. And A Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. Oh, So I'm quite happy with these. I may or may not have burnt the sweet potato chips just a little bit. I'm just about to pop to the shops to get some some chocolate, some ice cream, something for dessert. But after I've done that, I'm going to finally stop procrastinating and I'm going to watch Much Ado About Nothing. I feel like I just need this tonight. As I've said, I've only ever seen like clips from this, like particularly the Benedict and Beatrice scenes. And it just looks like it's a good time. Like it's just like a fun romp. I genuinely think the pitch for doing this movie was like, guys, it's Shakespeare. So it'll make you look really smart. It'll look great on your CV. But really all we're doing is frolicking around Tuscany for a few months. Deal? Yeah. And that just seems like a good time to me. <laughs> This film is so much fun. <laughs> So I've spent this morning finishing up The Song of Achilles, which was the book club pick for October, which I'm finishing a little bit late because our book club discussion isn't until next week, probably. And um, yeah, it's this is the fifth time I've read this and yet <sighs> it still gets me emotional. <laughs> I'm back. Went for the purpose of getting some new black boots and I got me some black boots because a couple of weeks ago I realized that the two pairs of black boots that I wear through winter, which I have worn many, many a time, both have massive, massive holes in them, which uh, it does not bode well to the point that when I wore them, they gave me blisters because it was so uneven and I don't think a cobble is gonna be able to fix that. So even though you all have seen me on the vlog, looking at Doc Martens, looking at other fancy shoes, I've ended up just getting these ones from Next. I saw a pair of Timberlands that I really liked, but I'm pretty sure they were like 120, 140 pounds, which I wasn't really up for spending today, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe one day I need to do it because it'll be a good investment, but uh, for right now, we will get the 38 pound boots from Next and we will be happy, we will like them. I did a little tiny, tiny food shop and then as you will have seen, I went to the Bodleian Library gift shop, treat myself to a couple of things. Firstly, I got the Penguin Book of Christmas Stories. This is a new release, which I think it was actually on my auntie's page of releases video for September to December. And it's really cute and dinky. And I thought, you know, obviously lovely for this time of the year. I thought I'd read one of these short stories every day in December. And that'll be really nice. I got a little postcard to put up in my room. Shakesy pee. And then as you will have seen, they had some lovely little literary Christmas ornaments. So I got my Jane Austen one. Ah. I was very tempted by the Mr. Darcy and the Shakespeare one, but I, I, I stuck to my guns, got my Jane Austen instead. And she's gonna look really cute. 